55 Racing Towing Services, can I assist you? 55 Racing? I need double S towing. Well, actually, that's us too. What here appears to be the issue? I've actually got a flat. Okay, so your car has a flat tire, sir? No, 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 no. It's my librarian ladder wheel. It's flat or broken. Please, I don't think you understand the severity of the situation. Send Mike. Send Honey Badger. I don't care. Send everyone. Okay, so, sir, please stay calm. Where are you located? I'm actually in Northern California, across the field where the creek turns near the old stone road. Wait, did you just quote Fishing in the Dark? And we're in Colorado. You're in California. We don't service that area. And hold on. Is this for your DIY channel? Well... Yes, yes it is. I mean, I don't know how to state this, but I'm kind of a big deal. <laughs> Ever thought about tackling yourself then? You know, DIY style? Well, first of all, that is a crazy idea. That is an absolutely amazing idea. I just had an idea for my next video. I'm going to take you guys on a trip. Trip. Wheels. There's a travel theme going on here, but hey, we're going to show you uh, the librarian ladder. I got a couple things that I want to actually do, but before we do that, I want to establish some double S towing right here, baby. Autographed by Mike. The drip today, guys, is awesome, but y'all wouldn't know anything about that now, would you? <laughs> Take that, Jackson. <laughs> All right, you guys. Hey, thanks for uh, tuning in here today. I'm Joshua with the General's Workshop, and I wanted to do just a, a, a modification slash an update. A while back, I did a librarian ladder build, and you guys will notice um, that one in that video, and I'll put a link at the, at the end of this one so that if you guys missed that, you can go back and see that. But, and in that video, guys, one thing that I kind of glossed over is the insulation of the actual wheels, the rolling wheels themselves. And the other thing that I'm going to be doing is showing you guys a modification. It does come with these uh, coated three quarter inch length screws. Now, in my, these are coarse screws uh, as opposed to the fine, but in my particular case, I used pine, so these didn't hold. So in one of my previous videos, when I was actually climbing the actual ladder and I added my weight plus one of the totes, which was probably 30, 40 some extra pounds, this actually dislodged from the actual wood itself. So today we're going to be doing two things. One, we're going to be actually adding, um, we're going to be strengthening, bolstering the, the fastener. We're going to actually be uh, utilizing these actual bolts instead. And I'm going to actually break down how you actually take this wheel apart so that you can install it. One of our uh, listeners asked think, the questions of if you have any tips and tricks for installing these wheels. And I absolutely do. So let's go ahead and uh, break one of these down so you guys can see the components of it right now. But first of all, we want to take a look, look at the actual wheel structure itself real briefly. Um, one, when you're actually uh, mounting these wheels, one, there are two holes in the very back that we have to be cognizant of one. And if you look at the line of where this back hole is, in order for you to actually get the fastener through, you have to remove this wheel. Now these wheels honestly remind me of rollerblade kind of wheels. There's actually uh, two things that have to happen. One, you have to utilize a Allen wrench or a hex wrench. Um, this is 3 16 that'll actually work on it. Um, so you actually loosen that and then they'll come off pretty easily. Now, one thing you're going to notice is that with this, once you get the top one off, there is going to be an, a washer between the housing and the wheel on both sides. So when I drop this bottom one out, right, just like that, I think this is what they call a, a post, and then you actually drop that off, and there went one. So here's the wheel itself, and then you've yep. actually got two washers right here. So that will take that off. That will actually give you access to actually get to this bottom, uh, this bottom ones. Now, in my particular case, I'm actually going to be transitioning from this three quarter inch screw, right, to this bolt. Now, these are actually some bolts that I had from the TB that you see in my kind of man cave area. Uh, from that, this was some of the extra spare parts that we I did not end up actually utilizing. So one of the things I want to uh, share with you guys again is this uh, is this what we call a bolt gauge. This allows me to figure out what actually size hole I need. So when I actually will get this and I figure and I drop this in, doesn't fit, doesn't fit, doesn't fit, all of a sudden, boom, perfect. 
just what I want right there. So if I look down and I actually will see, well, that's a 3 16 inch hole. So for me, I'm going to be using a 3 16 inch drill bit to actually uh, bore through, if you will, the wood so that this will actually work. So let's go ahead and uh, first, let's do that. So for me, I have the luxury of already knowing where my holes are. So I can actually take my uh, drill bit and I can actually uh, drill out those holes. Now, for you, if you're in the beginning of your install and you haven't done that, then of course, obviously, once you put this up there, then you would just take a marker, um, dot those spots, and then you could actually drill it out itself. But for me, I've got that 3 16 inch bit. I'm gonna go ahead and drill out those holes. Clean those up. And you can see I got a little bit of chip out, but that's gonna actually be okay because the housing is gonna actually cover uh, that in and of itself. So now let's go ahead and do the other side as well. All right, you guys, for this other side, we actually didn't have any problems. So I'm just gonna remove what we already have. And obviously you're gonna need a, you're gonna need a little bit of a longer bit for this particular one to kind of reach through on the bottom. I'm gonna drill out these other holes. All right, we'll clean that up. All right, now we're all set. Let's go ahead and get uh, the bolts going. All right, you guys, so now we're gonna actually go out in the back. <laughs> I was wondering, am I gonna run out of material for YouTube to share with you great and fine folks? And the reality is I walked through my back carport, which we moved in a little over a year ago, and there is so much content. <laughs> That's all right, we're gonna head back here, uh, and I'm gonna grab the vise. We're gonna actually uh, be drilling out the housing, if you will. So we're gonna do that here real quick. So now that we got the housing drilled out, it's just gonna allow for the bolt to pass through that um, in a snug fashion. So now, we don't actually need a washer on the inside just because one, we've got the housing which will serve as just that. So I'm gonna put that one through. I'm gonna take this one off, get this one ready. We'll go right through here. So we've got those ready. Then I can line them up with both of those holes where we will in fact add the washers around that. And then we'll just go ahead, and we'll get them started. All right, let's go ahead and install the last wheel. Um, so again, I'm always gonna do, for me, I'm just gonna do the post off the back side or on the underside if you have to do it at an angle. Uh, then I'll start it through that first hole and then I'm gonna just push the washer around it. That's the easy part, then the wheel. So you back off that post just a little bit so you can get that center mark, bring that up there, no problem. This is probably the more challenging one, like I said, on the other wheel. So I'm gonna bring that up and I'm gonna actually back that post off just a little bit. There we go, back that off so I can get that up. Now, here's the thing, I don't have it where I want, but I can remove my hand and the washer's not gonna move, why? Because on that underside, I'm pressing that post up into the washer. That allows me to get hands free with my right hand to get like, notice on the screw, the one that came with it, um, thought I'd at least get some use out of it. I'm gonna take that point and there's just a little bit of that center part of the washer exposed. So I'm gonna put that through there so it doesn't fall out. I'm gonna back off that post and then move it up and then I can reapply tension on that back side just to kind of keep moving around there. I believe we got it right where I need to. Now I could take the bolt on the top and go right through, shazam. Guys, that's gonna be solid. So that gives you just a little bit of a how-to on one, installing those wheels if that was an issue and or a hiccup when you, were, uh, when you tried it. Hopefully that's helpful, as well as increasing the fasteners. So as long as we're on modifications, guys. Hey, check this out. For those of you that are also curious on the actual, the ceiling to the floor uh, shelf system that I did, I do plan on doing an actual video for that build. And honestly, as long as we're on the topic of modifications, I love this shelf, love it, love it, love it. There's no doubt about that. It is awesome. 
However, there is absolutely one thing that I would change on this system. And I knew it the second I tried to access my first tote. Any guesses as to what you think it is? All right, guys. Hey, leave me in in the comment section if you think you know what it is. That will be a later video that will be coming up. In fact, what I'll do is I'll link it. So go ahead and check this video out as well when it comes out. And that will be the modifications for that as well. Have a great day, you guys.